Hey guys, CT Rule 7 here, and uh, I've got a special video for you today. Here is the deploy. Came today. There you go, it's all deployed now. Uh, sometimes it's just a little problem, and it's not bugging me at all that much, just to let you know. When you do uh, buy the deploy, uh, I don't think this has happened with many other people, but it may be a little bit shaky. That does it's the tiniest little shake, and same with the handle, but that's because they're the main parts that move. It's a, literally the tiniest little shake. It's not, it bothers me, nothing. I just noticed it because I was running, uh, I was just not running, I just held it, and uh, it was all cocked forward, and I just heard that just go like that. It's not enough to annoy you, but it still is that. There we go. I'll tell you all the um, things about it. You've got a tactical rail on the top. Uh, you have obviously the deploy mode. I know the stealth mode. Then you have the flashlight on the front. But it's coloured red. I'll just do that on my top. There you go. Uh, in the handle, you got a dark holder. Sorry. Deploy it. Nice stock. It's quite comfy actually. Which is surprising. Uh, you got a little aimer, and I, I really like it. It is obviously my favourite gun. That's not because it's known, just because well it is. Um, when I ordered it, I uh, ordered my uh, uh, flip clip with it, which is quite good actually. I have to say. Let me just deploy it. There you go. Um. Ah, fail. E prime it. Pop in the clip. There we go. So this is what it would be like. Five. That is a fail and a half, I have to say. So I'm not going to demonstrate actually. I wouldn't come out for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so. <clears throat> I don't think I would use that much. I'll keep it obviously, but there are, so I've got two clips with a flip clip and one with a, uh, the actual gun itself. Also, accessories for the gun. Fail. <clears throat> so I'm feeling quite a bit today. Uh, you get a little shoulder strap. Uh, this is a very good gun by the way. It's the most powerful out of all my guns. And I have to say it's the most cool looking and the most cool featureable thing originally. That goes over like that. It's not like the bandolier strap. So you can have it in stealth mode, just hanging off you. And then if you are, if you do, ha if you have like a main gun, wait, I'll get my radar. You got a radar. Oh no, I'm out of bullets. Pop it down. Turn over here. Oh, I tangled it up by accident. There we go. Destroy it. You're all ready to go. That doesn't mean that you can't use the stock as much because you've got the straps in the way, but still it's quite cool. It's quite a nice uh, feel of the gun. Um, I really like it, to be honest. And uh, I may seem under-enthusiastic, but I've had to try and uh, record this three times because my internet keeps going because it's quite windy outside. And uh, I would like get to like eight minutes of it because this is going to be a long video because I'm doing a shooting test as well because my friend wanted me to. And uh, the wind, it would get to about eight minutes out of like probably about ten, and then it would just stop. I'd just be like depressing much, but uh, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, in my other video, I showed you about the Stefans. They're in there. They're the gold tip ones. Um, I tried using them all. I actually almost jammed it completely. One almost went down into like the air bit, but I managed to save it. I was just sitting there shaking and firing it for like two minutes. Got it out. Stefan's don't work. In, well, they do work. Uh, the long ones that I have got do work, but they're not very good. I wouldn't personally do it. Uh, it's quite nice. I like the paint job. It's not really effective to anything else. It mostly the whole nerve end stripe CS6 is all yellow, uh, orange, and grey or black. Um, apart from the blue color scheme and the clear ones. Um, I think I've told you much. It's very nice. Um, I'll show you all the clips that it takes. It obviously takes these clips with a CS6. Just to show you that it does. Oh, I keep forgetting to deprime it. Oh, the stock does sometimes if you 
sometimes it doesn't quite catch on the thing and it'll, it, you have to push it forward a little bit. So just going to... Oh my days. Because it's a big clip it's harder to get in. That does work perfectly fine but it's a very high side heavy. Um, uh, I wouldn't recommend putting a drum mag on it because obviously it's overweighted. Um, if you have a radio or something, obviously the CS6 dark clips holding it. And this actually, I think it looks proper better, uh, personally. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, also, I will tell you about two projects that I've thought of over the last couple of days. And then I'll do the range test for you. Um, so, that's the deploy for now. Uh, I'll tell you quickly about the two projects. Uh, first of all, um, <clears throat> Night Finders. Uh, I think I told you in my last thing I was going to soup one up and still I was going to pop it on there like that, even if they are quite closer together. So that it's called a, it's called a Night Manta when they're stuck together. It wouldn't be like that, they'll be side by side next to each other and that looks big, but you cut down the handle a bit and then they fall next to each other and you glue the, uh, the two things together and that looks absolutely sick. Um, next project is going to be, this is if, that one I think I might do anyway because I think it will be quite cool. Uh, this one is if I run out of things to do and I need something else to do to keep me occupied with Nerf. Um, I don't have my Maverick, it's downstairs but uh, in my old videos I showed you about um, how uh, I took off that bit, the cocking mechanism that goes on it, and uh, I would put that back on the Maverick, take out that uh, little bit of wood, put this back on it, and then what I was going to do is I was going to saw off here, so this section, the this little rectangular bit there, uh, I would cut off all of that and leave the bit on so you can still use it as almost a shotgun pump, but you wouldn't have it like that. I think I may have missed that, but oh well. Then I would stick this on like that. And because to Maverick you have to push forward and then push back. So you push back, then you push, sorry, they just came apart. Then you would push forward, which would load the radio, and then you just push forward a little bit more, load the Maverick and back. So you'd be holding the gun like that still. You'd have two triggers and two guns, which I think, personally, if I was to do that, would look really good. Uh, I don't think uh, just hot glue will reinforce it. But uh, I may think of other ways, just put in a couple of screws or something. Um, that's about it. I'll, go, I'll disconnect you now. Well, not disconnect you, but uh, I'll take you into the hall. And I'll do it. The last time I checked, the hall is 27 feet. Let me just pop a dart, uh, a clip in. The uh, deploy. There you go. All in, all ready to go. Sorry about that, you can see in my shirt. Okay. That is the wall. Sorry, I just toot you a bit more. That's the wall. That's the other wall, that's 27 feet. I'm not gonna put you back to against the wall. That's over there. I will stand back at the wall. Deploy. Non stealth mode. Nice grip. There. I will be shooting it flat. And I'm actually going to point you down a little bit more so you don't get glare from the uh, the light that's above you. You get a little bit. I can see. Sorry. Okay, I'm at the back of the wall. Now here's the first shot. That was a bad dot, sorry. So is that? Jeez, they're all bad. Uh, sorry about that. Half of them were really sucky. But earlier I got two of the clips off and they all hit the back of the wall uh, with quite a bit of power, which means that they would be getting about uh, 35, 40 ish feet. I may be pushing it a little bit, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> and that's, that's stock nothing else. Um, I may actually add the uh, long shot spring into it, um, but I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> uh, anyway, um, I think that's all I have for you at the moment, actually.
Is it? Um, no, I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna take out the air restrictors. And apparently, if you do it right, it can triple your range. I highly doubt that, to be honest. It may make it better. I don't think it's even gonna double it, but it'll get it a couple, maybe ten feet extra. I think it'd be quite good. Um, maybe put power stock on. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna increase the air seal definitely. <clears throat> But I'm not going to do this straight away because it's a brand new gun and I don't want to break it, so um, that's it basically. Um, I'll just adjust it. Um, that's it. Sorry, get my head in the way. Um, well, what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? The. Wait for it, wait for it. Deploy.